Hey VC, how's it going? Right, okay. This is a um, contest entry for uh, Memphis Vinyl Jim and the Misses. Um, they showed some some really cool soul records. Best part of a month ago now. I think the deadline for uh, for the for the contest is tomorrow, the seventh. So I'm just sort of getting under the wire. But yeah, they showed some great soul records. And earlier in the week, I. Uh, I looked at a few of the other um, contest entries and some, some great music shown, so I thought I would uh, show you some of my soul records. Right, so this is what I'm listening to. Uh, this is Billy Paul, War of the Gods. Um, this is one of my favourite Billy Paul albums. Uh, yeah, it's, a little, it's quite a funky in places, but very soulful, but quite a, a unique sounding soul record, so yeah, very cool. Right, okay. I shan't say too much about these, I'll just perhaps show them, but uh, Nolan Porter, this is, I think, his, uh, his album, No Apologies, it's on the Lizard label. Um, he had a really big Northern Soul tune, if I, if I could only be sure. Um, yeah, it's one of the uh, sort of Northern Soul staples, basically, but yeah, this is a little bit funkier, a little bit swampier. Nice record. Uh, actually, that's, uh, yeah, white label promo. Very nice. Okay, um, I can Tina Turner. Many of you all know if you've seen my videos before. I'm a big fan of uh, I can Tina. Uh, when I bought this, this was sealed actually. Uh, you can see the nice sticker on there. Deleted records, not to be removed from Capital Tower. Yeah, uh, a great album. This. Uh, this is early 70s. I think any of their stuff, of the late 60s, early 70s stuff, is usually relatively cheap and and pretty easy to find. Um, I don't have much of their early 60s stuff, so I'd like to get a little bit more of that, but yeah, very cool. That's obviously on the uh, on the Capital label, hence the uh, the sticker, but yeah, Yellow Capital. Um, Mary Clayton, I've shown her uh, um, Gimme Shatter album before. Um, I think this is her debut. This has got a few nice covers on here. Southern Man by Neil Young. Uh, Grandma's Hands, Bill Withers, yeah, really nice album. I know a few people have shown records by the Sweet Inspirations. This is my personal favourite. This is on Stax, um, Estelle, Myrna, and Sylvia. The first track on this actually, um, Wishes and Dishes, is an absolutely wonderful soul tune. If you check it out on YouTube, if you if you don't know it, but yeah, very cool. Right, this is actually a reissue. Um, of an album from 74 this is Gloria Scott um, what I'm gonna what's the title of it what am I gonna do yeah okay um, this this is a really lovely album it's a it's a modern soul record it's actually produced by Barry White um, big tune on here uh, a case of too much love making again worth checking out uh, but I love that cover brilliant okay um, yeah, Laura Lee, uh, um, Women's Loves Rights. This is like a very sort of southern, sort of swampy soul album. This is on, yeah, it's on Hot Wax, which is, um, which was Holland, does your Holland's label after they left uh, Motown. Yeah, I've got, I've got a few of hers. There's another one actually in this, uh, this sleeve as well. That's uh, Two Sides of Laura Lee. Yeah, great voice. Yeah, very cool records. One of the first soul records I ever bought, um, Diana Ross, Greatest Hits. I bought this in Birmingham Rag Market when I was about 15. Um, I remember buying it, two quid. Still one of my favourite um, soul records. I'm not a massive Diana Ross fan, um, but uh, yeah, obviously Black and Silver, Tumblr Motown. But yeah, this has got stuff on it like Remember Me, Surrender, uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Reach out and touch someone's hands. Reach out, I'll be there. I'm still waiting. A great record, start to finish, and one that you'll see around pretty cheap as well. So, actually, talk to turn a bit. Talking of Dinah Ross, um, obviously, um, she's obviously in the Supremes. In '67, when Florence Ballard was sacked from the Supremes and Sydney Birdsong, Sydney Birdsong um, came in, uh, one of Berry. Gordy's original ideas was for um, Chris Clark, who was also on Motown, to uh, to join the Supremes. 
Um, that might have been a bit awkward for two reasons. One, obviously she's white and perhaps uh, perhaps the the world weren't ready for a, a mixed race band at that point, I don't know, but um, particularly the Supremes. But also um, Barry Gordy was supposedly in a relationship with um, Donna Ross and Chris Clark at the same time, so that could have been a, well that would have been a schoolboy era if it had done that, so there you go. But yeah, actually this album's very cool. This is um, this is an American copy on, on Motown. Um, original UK Tumblr Motown copy goes for about 100 quid. This is a, a ten, ten pound record, bit of a difference, but music's exactly the same. But the yeah, some of the uh, UK uh, Tumblr Motown stuff does go for, for good money. Um, I do prefer the UK uh, Tumblr label, um, and certainly the sleeves. You know, when you've got a UK Motown sleeve, it does tend to be um, laminated. You've got the um, the flip back Garden Loft House sleeves as well, so. Um, the whole thing just feel a little bit more delicate, which I suppose is part of the reason for the uh, for the price, because so many of them damage. But yeah, yeah, great album. Right, okay, uh, a sweeping statement here. This is um, <clears throat> Otis Redding and Jimi Hendrix um, live at Monterey, Monterey Pop. In is this '67? Is it? Well, my my point about this record is that the Otis Redding side of this is the the best single side of vinyl ever recorded so there you go quite a sweeping statement but um yeah um it's just absolutely wonderful if you haven't heard it this is a cheap record i picked this up you know just for a few quid um i reckon it took me 10 years to play the the hendrix side because every time i pulled it out um i went to play hendrix and thought nah i'll just play Otis again i mean there's nothing wrong with the hendrix side it's, it's pretty cool you know it's hendrix but uh but yeah the Otis Redding side of this is just perfect. There you go. Right, okay. Uh, actually, yeah, um, I was only going to show records, but I was away briefly last week and I went into a record shop in Paynton, down in Devon. Nice enough little shop. Um, Bay Records, I think it was called. Um, yeah, lots of good, clean vinyl. Nothing appealed to me, but I'm sure that in the future, if I went back there, I'll probably find something. But on my way out, I did notice a lot of magazines, and there were Blues and Soul magazines, um, all for 150 or two quid each. You can see there, you know, Memphis Sound Arrives, that's a nice picture of Booker T and MGs. Uh, Junior Walker and the All Stars. Honeycomb, of which more in a moment. Great picture. Uh, Curtis. Uh, so, most of these are from late 60s, early 70s. Um, they did have quite a few from the 80s, Earth, Wind & Fire, that's I think 74. Um, from 1980-81, which I wish in hindsight I'd bought, but um, I just picked up the earliest stuff. Temps, Doris Troy, and uh, a reggae special, Do Black Musicians Get a Fair Deal. A nice piece on that, and that's obviously Dandy Livingston. So yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. Um, actually on a recent trip as well, I forgot to show this before. Um, a nice 45 of uh, Curtis Mayfield Get Down from the Roots album. It's an uh, Italian picture sleeve on Butter. Very cool. Right, okay, what else? Um, I'm just, sorry, I just pulled out a load of soul records. So, Honeycomb, uh, also on a Hot Wax label, uh, which was, um, I'd say, Holland Dozy Holland's own label. Um, yeah, these are nice records. They had a, a couple of really big hits in the States in the early 70s. This is, I think, their third album, Soulful Tapestry. It's a nice uh, sort of die cut sleeve. It's quite cool. Yeah. I listened to that last night, actually. Uh, very good. Um, and another one from them as well. I think I've got another one of theirs as well. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I love Peace of Soul, this one, but yeah. I've got another, I think I'm missing one. Um, Okay, 100, um, 100 Proof Age Soul. This is on uh, also on Hot Wax, as you can see from the the, the, the label there. But um, it's a white label promo on Buddha. Very cool cover. Again, just straight soul music from late 60s. Very cool. Uh, I say all this is, is soul stuff. I've, I've stayed clear of the uh, of the, the funkier and disco stuff, but. Um, yeah, Jimmy Hughes, something special. Um, this is on Bulk, nice album. First track on the second side is uh, Chains of Love, which JJ Barnes also did. Um, 
Uh, the, the Dirt Bombs did my favourite version of it though, they did it in the early 2000s, it's like a garage, garage punk version of it. Um, if you haven't heard the album Ultra Glide in Black, definitely worth picking up, it's certainly one of my top five records, you know, if you're going to make a list of stuff. But yeah, that's a nice record, Jimmy Hughes. Um, perhaps not Straight Soul, but Shirley Ellis, The Name Game, you know, one of those, she did the clapping song and this is the nitty gritty. Um, yeah. Yeah, just, just those good sort of novelty dances that she did. But yeah, it's a really cool album. Um, but one of her later albums, Soul Time. Yeah, that's a, a, a more straight soul record. I think she's trying to get away from the novelty hits at that point. But yeah, uh, the, the title tracks are real Northern Soul dance. They're very cool. Right, um, Thelma Houston. Uh, Sunflower album. Yeah, um, most of the tracks on this are written by Jimmy Webb. Um, so it's a little bit away from from straight soul, but the the first track on the record is a cover of Jumping Jack Flash, which is yeah a real dancer, great stuff. Um, right, uh, this is a Memphis band. This is from the early eighties, a little bit later than some of the other stuff I've been showing. This is from I think eighty one. This is their debut, Ebony Webb. Um, they they were a little bit um, Earth Wind and Fire. Yeah, very cool record. Um, one of my favourite artists, the Staple Singers. This is a record that Pop Staples put out in the 90s. It's actually um, recorded and produced by Ry Cooder. Yeah, very Pop Staples, but you know, obviously it's got that early 90s production on it, which it perhaps loses a little bit. But yeah, relatively cheap record as well and quite interesting. My favourite female vocalist, I'm just looking at the time, by a long shot, maybe Staples. This is her album. Come out on stacks. This copy is actually on vault. Um, only for the lonely. She made two wonderful um, solo um, solo albums in the late sixties, which should have been far bigger than they were. Um, yeah, I mean she's still making wonderful music today. Maybe Staples. I say by far my favourite female vocalist. Um, that gravelly, raspy, you know, powerful voice, beautiful soul voice, but so distinctive. But yeah, look look at that sleeve. That's wonderful. Um, Right, a couple more. Um, Israel Tolbert, Papa Stopper. This was obviously recorded on Warren, you can see there. Um, but this copy is on Stax, so I think Warren must have been distributed by Stax in the late 60s. Uh, the big tune on this is Big Leg Woman with a Short Short Mini Skirt. Um, I think I've got a single of that. I think the single is actually on the Warren label, but uh, yeah, this is on Stax. Um, what time here? 12 minutes. Right, okay, I'll, I'll finish up now. Uh, David Porter, um, he was obviously one half of Hayes and Porter, the uh, songwriting duo. So the Isaac Hayes, David Porter, who wrote all those big hits for Sam and Dave, Hold On, Come In, Soul Man, When Something's Wrong With Baby, all that sort of stuff. Um, he also wrote stuff like um, um, B-A-B-Y, Baby Body, Carla Thomas. Um, and I think he also wrote Get Jiggy With It for Will Smith. So there you go. But yeah, so yeah, this is a... He should have been bigger than he was actually, you know, he's a good soul singer. I think it's one of those where the label didn't quite know what to do for him. These are on stacks. He put four albums out. Um, this one's the interesting one though, The Victim of a Joke. Um, it's a concept album, you don't get many soul concept albums. But yeah, this is fantastic. Um, got a really nice upbeat version of Help on it as well, so by the Beatles. Cool. Right then, that's my entry. Cheers. <laughs>